Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna give you guys seven steps that you guys can follow to apply to your colleges, right? So if you're completely new to the application process and you have no idea what you're doing and it's really confusing for you, then just follow these seven simple steps and you'll be able to apply to college, right? Now, one thing is that, you know, in a lot of the things that I'm about to discuss with you, I'm gonna be talking about, you know, certain things that I've already discussed in earlier videos. For example, how to find your specialization and how to, how to check which specializations are offered in your degree and all that. I've generally made videos for all these things. So I'm gonna be linking like a bunch of videos in the description. So make sure that after you guys watch this video, go to the description because there are gonna be a lot of videos that are gonna help you, you know, make all these decisions and you know, figure out all these things by yourself. Okay, so now let's get to the seven step process on how you can apply to top colleges around the world. The first step that you need to do is to figure out your degree and your specialization. So this is the most important step because again, whatever degree and specialization that you choose, that's pretty much gonna be your career from now on, right? So there are gonna be opportunities later for you to maybe shift your career if you want to, but nonetheless, this is a pretty big decision so you have to make sure that you're careful with the decision, right? So first step is to figure out what degree you want and what specialization you want. So again, if you are thinking about MBA versus master's versus PhD, I've done a video on that. If you're confused about, you know, which specializations are offered in your particular degree. For example, you want to take a master's in mechanical engineering, but then you don't know what specializations are offered under that. I've done a video on that as well. Again, links are going to be in the description. And essentially when it comes to choosing your specialization, there's a bunch of things that you can do. You know, people you can talk to, online courses that you guys can take. Again, everything is detailed in the videos in the description. One tip that I have for you guys is I would recommend that you guys choose your degree and specialization based on your own interests and your own passions and you know what career that you want rather than what is you know in demand or what is like you know super hot right now. Because what's hot right now may not be hot you know 10 years from now. So try not to go for the trendy kind of things. Try to go for something that you actually like and that you can see yourself working in in the long term. The second step is to figure out which country you want to apply to, right? So this is obviously gonna be a big step as well. So depending on the country that you apply to, you know, the, everything can change. The tuition fee can change, the length of the program, the requirements for the program, what's taught in the program, the flexibility of the program, where you're gonna work and live after you graduate. So even this is a pretty big decision, right? So there are of course a lot of popular countries like, you know, US, Canada, UK and all that. So you do have to make a decision. You can talk to again, professors or seniors or colleagues, try to figure out which, where, where where the best universities for your particular program are, that's also a good way you can decide. If you guys are thinking about, again, US versus Canada or you know some other you know different countries and stuff, again, I have videos on that. I'm gonna be linking it in the description, okay? So the second step is to figure out which country you actually wanna to apply to. It can be more than one, perfectly fine. I just wanna pause for a second to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel because we have a ton of graduate program related information every single week. So make sure you're subscribed to stay on top of things. Third step is to find the program requirements. So now what you gotta do is, now that you have your countries ready, right? And you have your degree and specialization ready, now you actually do some research. So you look at some universities, you find the top universities in your field. Again, link in the description on how you can do that. Find the top universities in your field and then look at what they're asking for, right? So for example, if you're applying to like, like a master's in economics program at the London School of Economics, then you know, okay, then you need your transcripts, or you need a statement of purpose, you need two letters of recommendation, you need a, you need a resume, you need a GRE, or GMAT score and you need like an English language proficiency test so they accept both TOEFL and IELTS, right? So that you actually know what are, the, what are the requirements that are required, you know, for your particular program. Now what you want to do is you want to repeat, you know, this search for the program requirements for two or three universities per country. So you're applying to say the US and UK, look at the requirements for at least two or three universities in the US and at least two or three universities in the UK because program requirements vary across countries, okay? The next step is to go about fulfilling those requirements. So now that you know that they need a GRE score, you go take the GRE. If they need an IELTS, you go take the IELTS. If they need three, two or three letters of recommendation, then you go ask your professors or your managers, supervisors and so on for those letters of recommendation. So whatever the program requirements are, now you go about fulfilling those requirements. Requirements. The next step is very simple. You apply and you get admitted. So you have to make sure that you note the deadline of the actual applications, right? So depending on the fall and spring, you know, intake and depending on the country you're applying to and the university you're applying to and the program you're applying to, the deadlines can vary a lot. So make sure you write a list of, you know, all the deadlines and try to focus on the earliest deadline. For example, if you're applying to say five universities and they all have deadlines in say December, January and February, you should try to get everything done before December so that, you know, you can be done with your applications you know, at once, right? So try to find your deadlines and then apply before that particular deadline, right? And then of course, once you apply within a few months, you'll get admitted as well. And then once you make, once you get that admit, then you just have to choose which university that you're going to go to. 
The next step is to get your student loan and education visa. So I don't wanna go into a lot of detail about this, but let me just give you the brief of you know, how this looks. When it comes to student loans, uh, if it's a you know, very expensive program and stuff, then universities want to see the first year's tuition plus living expenses and travel in your account as a part of you know the money in your account or your assets or like you know edu education loan and so on right so that's the amount of money that you want to that you want to have in your account so generally what happens is the loan amount that you're going to take is going to be that first year tuition plus living expenses plus travel expenses minus any money that you already have either from your parents or from your savings or through scholarships and all that right so that's generally the loan amount you're going to go for you can go to either like a bank that offers you know student loans or you can go to a non-banking financial companies that offer student loans again this, this is something you can figure out later after you apply to college you also want to look at the visa next right so the visa process is going to be different depending on the country that you apply to some countries will require you to have a visa interview some of them will not uh, some of them will schedule it at different dates so again there's a lot of different policies so I can't give you like a general idea but what I do know is once you have your loan ready and you contact your university they will tell you when it's the right time for you to book your visa and you know when you need to fly to college and that brings me to step seven which is just to fly to college right once you have everything ready you know once you know exactly where you're gonna live, how you're gonna pay for your education, and then all you have to do is just fly to college and get, your, get started on your program. So those are the seven steps that you guys need to follow to apply to college. I hope this makes things a little bit more simple for you and gives you like a bird's eye view. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment, chat, comment section and I'll be able to help you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more graduate program related information. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.